What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we got a pair of Nike SB Blazers. And if you haven't seen my recent video, uh, go check me out. We did do a uh, review on the, the Jordan Zion 2's uh, draft night, so go check that video out. But today, we're going to take a look at these uh, SB Blazers. Quick look at the info, Nike SB Blazer Zoom Mid EK, um, that's a Eric Costin, and the colorway is Summit White, Nightshade White, and we did pick this up in a size 12. Um, I think this shoe was running at, um, I picked this one up for $95 on Nike's app. That's crazy to say, in this um, day and age, $95 for a pair of shoes, um, but... You know, we all used to picking up Jordans and um, those things running 180 to 225. So, yeah, picking something up for 95 dollars, um, I take it any day. And I am feeling this colorway, but let's go ahead and get into it. And here you have it, guys: the Nike SB Blazer Zoom EK Eric Costins. Give you a quick 360 of the shoe. As you can see, the laces, I did uh, try these shoes on. So, you can see in that top section, it's unloose. It's unlaced. So, um, I did try them on, and they are decently comfortable. Um, I know the, the blazers somewhat have a slim um, insole to them, but I did um, lace these up and put them on. No issues at all with them. All right, man, let's go ahead and get into this shoe. Now, when I first saw them, um, I fell in love with this this uh, quilted pattern. I think it's themed out to, um, like, oceanic um, stuff, as you can see in the, the insole. It has, uh, like, ocean uh, waves and, you know, oceanic vibes to it. Um, like the fish gill uh, quilted pattern on it. Um, the color is also uh, unique. It's like a teal um, iridescent sheen to it. And it's kind of weird. Um, it, depending on the lighting, like if it was an overcast day, um, this teal color, it kind of looks like navy blue almost. Um, the Nike swoosh along with the ankle collar, um, the leather and the ankle collar section. Um, after seeing a lot of pictures on Instagram of this shoe um, in different shades of lighting, I wasn't really sure what to spec on. I was thinking it was more of like a darker navy blue. Um, again, like I was saying, it depends on the lighting. Um, overcast days, it, it kind of threw off a, a navy blue on the Nike swoosh and the, the sock lining area. But right now, it's a, it's a bright sunnier day. So it's giving you that more um, teal look to it. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start off with this shoe from top to bottom. Like I was saying, the ankle um, support area and the material used on it is uh, leather inside of it. it. has decent padding on it. Um, the tongue is also like an exposed tongue. Give you a quick shot of that. Exposed tongue. And it does have a sale vintage look to it. Taking a look at the Nike pull tab on the tongue. It is the same uh, leather as the side panels of the shoe. Nice quality. You have your Nike SB Costin. I'm curious to see if the other shoe has Eric Costin. But again, you do have that um, vintage color look on the tongue and it is exposed. Uh, mostly you're seeing that foam underneath the tongue. That's why it's that color. And the shoe comes uh, laced up with these white laces. It also does come with a uh, another set of laces i'll show you those in the other shoe the leather on the side panels nice quality man very uh soft uh tumbled leather on it nice quality leather on this one love the stitch work on it love the oversized swoosh that wraps around to the heel section gives gives off um that old school jordan one uh, what's those new ones that just released? I think that, like the Airships. Um, it gives me that vibe that um, how it wraps around the, the ankle area. And what's really interesting about this shoe, it has this stitch work like the Air Jordan 1s right here in this section. 
So, I think they uh, took design cues off of the airship Jordan 1s. Um, that's just in my opinion. Um, going down the eyelet section, you have this um, gray suede new buck. Taking a look at the toe box. Nice tumbled leather. Mid sole of the shoe. Yeah, with slight stars in it. Thick mid sole, all white. Ramping around, you have this little um, notched out Nike branding. And it's almost like a, a pink, a very light pink blocking inside of it. Probably one of my favorite parts of the shoe is this, um, this Nike branding tab on the back. And that also is a uh, gray new buck suede. Nice feel to it. Love the stitch work and that teal. And I'll show you the other shoe in a second. Taking a look at the outsole, you have that teal um, colorway in the outsole, which um, herringbone pattern traction. Very thick midsole, like I was saying. But yeah, man, dope shoe in my opinion. Very different. Um, I know there's a ton of uh, Nike Blazers out there. I actually had a low, low top version of Nike Blazers that I had to return. I just didn't like the fit of them. Um, it was a too narrow shoe. And this one also looks narrow, but upon lacing it up, um, I, I fit on them perfect. Um, comfort was great. And the shoe also has a, a zoom unit in the heel section of the shoe. But yeah, let's go ahead and pull out my other shoe and uh, get you guys up out of here. All right, taking a look at the medial side, same as the other. Love this quilted design and this, this oversized Nike swoosh. Just a nice clean shoe, man. As you can see on the back tab on this one, it has EK, Eric Costin. Let's take a look at the tongue and see if it has actual Eric on it. All right, so taking a look at the other shoe, it also has Costin. I was thinking it might have had Eric on it, and the other shoe has Costin, but nice touch anyway. Let's go ahead and give you a shot of these together. Nice look, man. I just love this heel section of the shoe. Just gives you that old vintage basketball type shape and look to it. And guys, I hope these shots coming out uh, okay. I'm using a gimbal for the first time. I hope it's uh, not too rough looking. But yeah, man. Love this shoe, man. Like I was saying, from the first time I seen it online at $95, I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and pick these up for the the fall time just a clean shoe probably pull these off with some gray sweats or even blue dark blue jeans man to make this pop already actually got a nice um hoodie that goes perfect with this it's kind of like a green and it has teal in it and navy blue i think it'll hit hard with these but uh but yeah let me know how y'all feeling about this pair of uh blazers Y'all digging them, uh, something different. And like I was saying earlier, um, you can't beat the price, $95. Uh, I think I see some lowest $85, and they um, have coupon codes to push it even further. You know, the day and age we living in with these these Jordans and Yeezys and all these type of resales, um, averaging well over $200. You can't be a cheap, clean shoe, in my opinion, man. $95, no brainer. Went for it. Uh, comfort level is there. Like it. But yeah, man, something different to pull out on a nice, casual day. Um, but I, I do want to show you the extra laces that came with, with the shoe. All right, so they came with this um, extra teal green set of laces. I think it matches up pretty well with... Um, this oversized Nike swoosh. But I think I'm feeling the white laces just a little bit more. I did see a couple of images of this shoe with these um, teal laces in it. And it, it does look good also. But I'm kind of feeling the, the all white um, look to this shoe. What y'all think about the lace options? You know, I, I might go for them later down the road on it. But if you haven't checked me out on Instagram, go check me out over there. Um, I probably will do a lace swap, post some pictures up over there. And I recently been trying to grow my Instagram page and it has uh, 
taken off somewhat over the last month. I've gained over 800 followers. Uh, we're pushing close to 1,000. I think we're somewhere around 20 or something like that. Um, but if you're interested in like lace swaps and stuff like that, I'm starting to get into that. I'm posting up some pictures of, you know, some of my shoes I'm lace swapping. And I must say I came up with a couple of dope swaps on there. So go check that out. Uh, sometimes you got to think outside the box, you know. But yeah, let me know how y'all feel about this shoe. Y'all think it was a decent pickup for $95. I'm feeling it. Can't wait to um, wear these this fall. Um, clean shoe man but yeah stay tuned to the channel we're gonna keep going and growing with your help um hit that like hit that subscribe button it does help try to push this channel just a little bit more and um, i appreciate y'all for doing that and i also appreciate y'all for coming through for a quick look at this nike sb eric costin edition till the next time peace